Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden Ultimate Team gameplay. And in this gameplay, we're going to be playing the Madden 18 Ultimate League, Madden 18 Bowl, whatever you want to call them, champion, young kid, in a Friday night football. And honestly, I'm very thankful for these uh, Friday night footballs, especially at the end of the year. Uh, content has been a little dry, uh, at least on my channel. So, you know, I, I made a decent run. I'll tell you guys that in this tournament. So you expect a nice... A uh, couple uploads of you know me breaking down some gameplays in this Friday night football But yeah, man, we're playing my crew member Kiv and I swear I literally plan so much um, During the Madden season whether it be FNFs uh, Whether it be you know just small MCS tournaments or even in the MCS uh, Last year I played him in the Madden 20 bowl. We came up on top It was a low scoring game 13 to 6 not no one was expecting that everyone probably thought you know two offensive guys going at it it's going to be high scoring but it was like 13 to 6 or something like that so you know it's pretty crazy whenever we play each other but it's a great game and this time it's no different so sit back relax and let me break down some stuff for you guys before we get into it man um be on the lookout I'm trying to upload some more content i have a mini scheme on the way um, i'm going to be breaking down tight slots i'm attempt to run it so be on the lookout for that i know you guys definitely love some mini schemes and then after that maybe gonna just do some more uploads of money games and or twitch highlights weekend league highlights and then lastly you know like new player reviews or like you know player gameplays player debuts so like one i gotta do is moss maybe i'll do like a sean taylor or something but maybe a tim tebow um ryan Tannehill will be in this gameplay this is his debut it's my first game playing someone at least really good with him so you know if you were thinking or contemplating should i use ryan Tannehill, rg3 you know, watch this gameplay and see for yourself. I will say Ryan Tannehill's release is really, really nice. And lastly, boys, per usual, this was taken from my stream. Go follow me on my links, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube, all the same thing. Pavin Lakot, P-A-V-A-N-L-A-K-H-A-T. It's free to support. It means a lot. So here we go, man. Um, we're going to be starting off on defense. We're going to be running this 3-3-5 wide defense and... Kiv, as always, is going to be in the bunch. And right here, he's going to take off with Ryan Tannehill. Um, he does not use escape on his Tannehill, nor do I. But, you know, he still has like 92 speed. And yeah, man, Kiv is in the Carolina bunch. I'll be running Seattle in this game. As right here, he's going to hit a nice pass to Robert Woods. In my opinion, Robert Woods, thumbs down for me, man. If you use him, cool for you. Um, but when I've used him, I've had no success. He's a receiver, so he's not going to break those tackles like Kittle. He's one speed slower than Kittle if you use Niners theme team. And lastly, man, I just feel like he just, he's not it, man. I want a nice big frame at tight end, and, you know, people don't really realize it until they use him. It's right here. We're going to play some good defense. And my ability sheets, guys, um, what I'm using on defense, three El Toros, a couple Acrobats, and that's pretty much all you need to know is right here, he is going to hit Robert Woods up the seam, up the flat. For a nice gain of 10 yards and that flat is pretty cheesy man it's right here he's gonna flip his bunch and he does have i believe that's calvin in motion it's right here he's gonna run a nice play we actually do send the blitz nice uh play art by me but i actually don't you know commit to guarding zeke as i feel like if i guarded zeke right there that would have been a nice uh you know interception it's right here once more he's gonna run the same play boys he runs the same play i click r3 to send my guy and he ends up sending the wrong person. So boys, you know, sometimes when you send send two or send three even, um, they get outside the pocket, you click R3 to send the spy or whoever the zone, they end up sending the cornerback who was guarding that guy. And you know, I thought they were gonna send the linebacker on the right, they end up sending the cornerback and that resulted in a literal free touchdown, great drive by kid. It's right here, man. We're gonna come out and bench pivot on the first play. And we're just basically trying to establish this rollout to the right side. It's really not there, but there goes Moss on the playmaker. Unfortunately, he does not hang on to it. And boys, I'll put you on some free game. If you want the best adjustments, I'm going to pause it real quick right here. Uh, basically, what I meant to say earlier is I like to play on conservative uh, ball carrier. It's no point in fumbling. Is right here. We're going to make a nice pass up the seams. Kid was running a lot of cover two in this game. and I, um, Basically, that was that clear out inverted seam streak. He motioned it over and it turns into basically just... A cover two beater man and i couldn't wait to maybe hit him up over the top but he was sending five and when you send five with those toros especially on all madden you don't have any time at all as right here we're gonna hit camara and right after this we sub in zeke immediately so this might be a zeke debut as well 
golden ticket zeke is a monster boys trust me on that um i definitely recommend him as your primary back right here man we're gonna just motion r1 and we're really just looking for this playmaker the tight end he ran cover two once more and i'm taking mental notes at this point in the game boys that kiv running a lot of cover two running a lot of send five um, I don't have a lot of time, but I do have somewhat of a time to make, you know, playmaker dots or just quick reads. Um, the thing with cover two, though, is, you know, it's not the best, you know, cover two is pretty good on defense if, you know, you could just get quick sheds. It's right here. I thought I was going to get pressured, and I kind of flinched up and threw it away, and that really is kind of a big penalty, bad mental mistake by myself. As right here, he is going to come out in the 146. Call it questionable if you want, guys. Maybe if he thought it was third down, but I thought it was second down. I thought, you know what, let me try to get some yards. This on one trap worked for me once. Let's see if it'll work again, and that's not the case. So great play call right there to go to the 146. But in reality, boys, I literally need like four yards to get a field goal. So, um, you know, Kiv realizes this, and he, the next play, comes out back in 3-3-5 wide, as you see right here. And honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I think Kiv knew... Like, he was like, you know what, I'm just going to play for a field goal. And I actually wanted to play for a field goal. So I think he knew. But in reality, it doesn't matter. I call a bad play. I had the playmaker and I had R1 wide open. But Ricky Jackson, man, just comes in on that El Toro pass rush. Honestly, like, it doesn't seem like a, uh, I had a lot of time. But in reality, I did have a lot of time. But the play I called just took way too long. Um, I had those protected. I had protected on in this game. Tannehill with that protected chemistry and it does do pretty well But that you're still gonna get shedded man, especially when they send five especially on all Madden So just got to live with it and you know try to lock up It's right here, man We're gonna send the dogs and we do come in free. We get a crazy shed of our own Jason Owa, I really don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he is a 97 or 99 speed. He's a draft premier card. I don't even know what team took him man think the Ravens did but I could be completely wrong on that he's a dog that's all that matters he wears number 28 he's a dog he's gonna get sheds and you see right there he came in free he's right here he's gonna pass the ball and once more I have a very sleep user so earlier in the in, in the game I had Z guarded up I could have potentially picked that off that play I could have just picked off Calvin um, but you know I just had a bad user I kind of slept with my user and it's all good, man. We're on a third down and 15, 146 time. And boys, Kiv is actually going to audible to this nice two tight end set right here. Um, I This is Carolina P Panthers playbook. And he was going to have a couple people open. Right off the bat, he had that out route to the right side open. But Montez Sweat goes actually nuclear. And he he went ape shit right there, man. He, he went crazy. Got a crazy shed. Basically an A-gap, man. You can rewind that and watch it back. Um... But right here, we're actually going to have terrible field position. So we're going to have to start off our drive around the 23-yard line. It's right here, man. We come out in flood looking for a quick read. And that's what we get. Vernon Davis. I'm not going to lie. We kind of got lucky right there. We got blessed. Kiv sent six. We sent out five. And he got zero pressure, man. Usually when you do that with a 3-3-5 wide spread D-line, you're going to get someone screaming in immediately. Especially when you send six. But thankfully for us, we got a lot of time. I don't know how that happened, but we will surely take it. Right here, man, we're going to move our playmaker to the slot now. We're trying to get nice with it, trying to get weird with it, and that's what we do. We actually get hit as we throw the ball somehow. Literally, they're like three-second snap, and that, boom, I'm getting shedded or disengaged, but we do get the ball out, and that's Tannehill for you. I believe with RG3, you get sacked right there, or you get to throw out a sack at the ground. Uh, with Tannehill, you know, you're going to pay a little more for your uh, archetypes if you want scrambler archetype with that escape artist. But you do get a better release. Less speed, better release, uh, worse archetypes. It's your call, man. Uh, it's a pretty tough decision, honestly, but it's not a crazy decision due to it being the end of the year. You can really just use whoever you want. Both cards are very cheap. So right here, we're going to run a nice corner route play, but there goes Moss with that playmaker chemistry. It's right here, man. We are going to run this nice tight end hook play, and there goes Moss once more. I could have maybe got more yards, but we'll take the four, man. It's right here, going back to this nice play, looking for Mike Evans on this out route, and boom. It's a little of a risky throw, but I believe Kiv is running cloud flats at 10 depth. So, you know, there's that's not even a 10-yard route. It's still once more scary, but I will take that. It's right here, Vernon Davis on this crazy post, and we're just going to try to make a quick read. He actually sends five, and that's the pressure I was talking about, man. 
And I'm not gonna lie to you boys. I'm not gonna just sit here and lie. I was throwing an uh, interception. I was thrown to the tight end. Kiv's user runs back to the tight end at perfect timing. And that's why it's so hard to send five out sometimes. Um, I could have immediately thrown the running back route. And later on in this game, you will see me just snap throw it. Literally a tip Tuesday I gave you guys. Um, just honestly, I, at this point, I haven't been playing too much Madden to where I'm just snap throwing it. At least competitive Madden. I'm playing weekend league and dudes are giving you the same stuff over and over again. You know how it is, guys. It's right here, man. We are back in the match coverage and match coverage doing what it does best, matching on to everything. Fortunately for us, no spy in Tannehill. He is pretty shifty, man. He's pretty fast. He gets eight yards out of that without escape as well, boys. It's right here. He has a two minute warning glitch, the no huddle, uh, fast pace, up tempo. And, you know, it's very hard to play defense like that, but we're still able to play some good defense right here. Get a big hit stick. It doesn't matter that he was out and he didn't fumble, but it does mean that he's going to be tired now when he calls hike. It's right here. We're going to send six again, and that's the same thing I was literally just telling you guys about, that quick throw running back route. Um, he ends up getting, you know what, seven yards on that, on an easy, like, snap throw, which is pretty OP. When people send the blitz, boys, that's what you should be always doing, just snap throwing the table making a quick read um that's easily the safest read you can make there's there's ways to pick it off man but not really everyone knows how to do that so right here we're gonna send the all-out blitz and i'm pretty pretty upset at what just happened boys um great play great dog great read but what i was mad about is i have my hooks on zero um i wish i had them on five i believe they would have kind of played things better um and i personally myself probably would have ran back to that crosser but nonetheless you know, still a great dot. I don't think that would have saved me from getting dotted. I feel like I just would have had a better chance at playing defense because I did send the dogs, man. You guys saw the pressure did come in. He got hit as he threw. Literally, if I had a split second more of him holding the ball with me having a better user or something, probably ends up being a sack. Right here, just we're playing, we're playing safe defense. We don't want to give up a touchdown. Giving up a touchdown here, honestly, we probably just end up losing the game. And right here, he throws a dot. To Calvin again. I thought my match was gonna match and it doesn't. That's a great play that he has all the way down to the three. And literally, like I just told you, I was playing safe defense and all of a sudden, nope, no, we're not anymore. <laughs> great dot by Kev. It's right here, man. Look at this corner route on the left side. It's open, it's open, it's open. I think he ends up highballing it and gets cheated. But boys, I believe that's a nice glitch right there. I had no idea how that was open. It's definitely just a play that Kiv has lobbed up. So this time we baseline press our clouds. As you see right here, baseline press clouds and it still gets over it. And he ends up having that dot again. But Kiv ends up waiting too long and Montez Sweat gets crazy for us. Actually just saves the day for us right there. Um, no points on the board. And, you know, we get ball at half. That's a huge momentum shift. And that's some crazy defense by Montez Sweat, man. It's right here. We're going to run mesh post with the playmaker. And last play we playmakered it. This play we don't. Just some IQ right there. That's why playmaker is so good, man. Um, some plays you playmaker it, some plays you don't. And you know, as you saw, Kiv's user went to the middle of the field, anticipating the playmaker. Reality, there was none. And you know, we're cooking now. And this is where I start implementing Zeke, man. I throw it to Zeke right here, and look how many yards he gets. Go get yourself a golden ticket, Zeke, right now, boys. Um, I don't know how much he is, but he's well worth it feed Zeke and that's not the last of him you'll see I'm gonna definitely keep going back to him especially if Kiv keeps continuing to blitz five as you see right here he does and honestly I could have had a good play if I playmaker Moss over back to the inside that would have been a great play but um, I kind of just had a brain fart just throw it away man especially after that sack I took in the first quarter uh, to get out of field goal range I'm like yeah no we're not doing this no more we're gonna stay in field goal range at the minimum that's right here, man. We hit flood right on the cut. I could have thrown it a little bit earlier, guys, but you know we'll take it. it. Got a little scary with that three wreck there. As we see right here, I'm gonna audible on over to another set, and this is where I usually could get really, really weird with it, but it works so much. It's right here. We had Y wide open, or excuse me, um, yeah, I think it's Y. We had Y wide open. I'm gonna rewind it real quick, boys. And this inside seam by Vernon Davis, Kiv actually ends up using Metcalf. I just look away. I look away, and he's wide open, man. A crazy play, um, but we end up still dotting it up. But that's honestly a play that I'm going to go back later on and look at and lab up, see how great it really is, because I was just kind of freestyling, man. 
Uh, we end up getting the drop, but in, in the in the game, I didn't really see him uh, open. We go back to the same play again. This time, I'm actually gonna look at the seams. Pretty ironic, because in the at this point in the time, like I literally even didn't know that was open. Um, we go back to the same play, and there's really nothing there. We're gonna end up throwing it away. But that's why I love doing these breakdowns, man. I get to see stuff later on in the game that I never even knew was open or never even saw, and you know that could be a new dot, boys. That you guys could run mix in a lot it's in that single uh, uh it's in that gun ace pa seams you could freestyle like crazy out of that play another freestyle play right here man we're just basically trying to roll out get something going we have moss on that playmaker early uh if we would have playmakered him up and just threw it with Tannehill, it would have been a dot but we kind of were a little hesitant we're kind of playing a little passive at this point i hate when i do that i know you guys could relate Cause right here, man, we are going to be trying to look for Mike Evans on this post. And if he's not open, man, we're just going to have to probably freestyle, use our playmaker. And honestly, just great defense. Nothing's open. He sends three and everything was bagged up. Just a terrible play, honestly. I probably could have had a corner route and rolled out, but we're going to kick our three and try to play D. And here we go, man. This is a crazy play. I don't know what kid was thinking. Left side matches on Ryan Chazier, Lurker. Give me that. And we're just going to give Kiv the benefit of the doubt because that was a absolute book. I have no idea what that was. I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt that, like, you know, he saw something. Uh, he thought that wasn't going to match. I'm going to say it's the middle of the field. That's what I'm going to say. You know how I feel about the middle of the field, boys, especially when you run bunch. It gets crazy. That might have been open if he was on a hash. Um, but, yeah, that's a crazy change of momentum. Free seven points for me. I'll take it, man. Gimme, gimme, gimme. See right here, man, we're going back on defense, and right after we just got a pick running match, we decided to switch it up. Questionable, but I mean, it felt like it was a move, and right there, boys, trust me, I know I should have kept guarding the corner out, but in my head, I'm thinking they're going to send the guy under, uh, underneath on that left side. I'm going to pick up that guy, and you know, it'll be like a uh, tougher throw because the guy's going to be running at him. But no, they end up sending my guy all the way across the field, my other D lineman, and that's the thing. Like I told you earlier, guys, when you click that R3 button to send someone, it just gets tough. You don't know sometimes who they're sending. So hopefully something they, you know, touch up on a little bit. It's nothing too crazy, but it definitely could be better for the future. And guys, you see it. I see it. We all see it. Calvin Johnson would double me. Whoo, that's a little scary, boys. Um, we're definitely going to have to just watch out for him. We're going to run a lot of match now. He could have potentially thrown that streak, but I feel like he was too close. It doesn't matter. Playmaker dot all the way to the eight, man. And just like that, man. We're going to have to lock up in the end zone. Just like he's been locking us up in the red zone, we're going to have to do the same thing right back. It's right here. He's going to know how to call a play. And we run match this time. Send the guy. And it actually sends the guy I wanted him to send. We pick up his assignment. And he just ends up throwing it out of bounds. See right here, man. We are going to be calling a blitz. And great blitz call right there. He ends up throwing it away. I'm not going to lie, boys. When he threw that, I thought, oh, my God, he just threw another book. But reality, boys, that's just how it looks when you throw the ball out the end zone. Right here, man, we send two again. Quarters defense, cover four, show two. And, man, oh, man, there's nothing open. Jason goes off, gets a crazy shed. And I get a little scared here because he may have had something open. But in reality, there was just nothing open. We hold the door. And, like I said, man, the red zone is the dead zone. That's a tough Tough break for Kiv to only get three on a great drive. I definitely thought he was going to get seven on that Calvin Johnson pass. Or, excuse me, that was probably Randy Moss on that playmaker. But Deion Jones hawks him down literally by the shoestring. And this, boys, is what I call the put-away drive. We're basically looking for any types of points, any types of clock management. Just don't turn the ball over. Don't give the ball back. Put this game away. And we're going to call a nice play right here. Basically the same form I believe Kiv had been calling earlier and boom playmaker low ball No acrobats. Thank the Lord acrobat could have got crazy for for him um, We all seen some crazy animations with acro Right here once more. We're not gonna run the ball. We're gonna go back to Zeke feed Zeke feed Zeke he miss He misses the hit stick ends up actually hit sticking us with Jamal but look at Zeke getting jiggy with it one time for the one time throwing up the salute um we were on conservative the glitchy part about conservative is you could air truck one time so that's what makes it so beautiful i'm still on conservative but i could still do that air truck to get up field get a lot of yards and it looked like i got a block honestly from 
Vernon Davis was pretty glitchy. Right here, we actually do something super head ass. I thought that was going to be a dot, boys. If I had some more space, that definitely could have been. In reality, looking back on it, probably shouldn't have thrown it. Second thing, second, I probably could have thrown it a little earlier with a high ball, but definitely probably shouldn't have thrown that at all. But if I were to throw it, I would definitely just highball it. And we're going to go back to the same concept again, man, because I really liked what I, what that was doing. He was running a lot of cover two with Jamal Adams kind of in the box, man. He's not like necessarily out and about. He's kind of in the box. And right here, he switches it up to cover three, playmaker, and a tight end post. He has to choose which one to guard. And Pat Willis is not guarding either of them. See right here, we're going to run Owen Trap, boys. But honestly... It could have broke off. We actually just end up getting a lot of yards because he actually hit sticks us forward. So we'll take that. Right here, man. Kiv actually ends up holding the door on second and goal. Honestly, probably should pass right here. We're going to run this dive, and he's going to sell out and blow it up in the backfield. Literally four, four people come in and just stuff it up. Thankfully, we don't fumble. We, I think I was on aggressive at that time. No fumbles. Definitely should have passed or at least gave, in, gave it to Zeke. End up giving it to Kamara and, you know, Kamara's not fought, fighting that. But here we go, man. Money drive for Kiv. This is what you guys always want to see. I swear, every single game we play is always defensive battle. Always a low scoring game. We cross man R1 right here. Kiv playmakers that running back route inside. Great play. Um, he was going to have the crosser, though, wide open. The cross man in this year's game sucks so bad. Mike Evans was not guarding that crosser at all, even with a cross man. So if he would have waited, I sent two. If he would have waited a little bit, it would have been a wide open dot. Right here, flat route. And that's why I don't like Robert Woods. Why are you catching it like that? He should have caught it up the field and ran. And he gets absolutely clobbered as well. Whereas Kittle is definitely fighting for that. Definitely probably getting the first. But a big third and one right here, man. We're going to blitz out of a match look. So I know Kiv probably thinks I'm in match. We reality, we're in cover two when we're blitzing. We man up the tight end, and we get insta pressure. Jason comes in free again. Go guard. Go get that card right now, boys. Talking really loud, but go get that card right now. He is a demon, and here we go, man. I love those adjustments I just called. We're going to call the same adjustments again. Cover two, manning up the tight end, and sending the dogs. That way, if his tight end sends out, he's manned up. If he blocks him, Mike Evans is going to scream like he just did. We send the pressure. And GG's in the chat, man. My user kind of was sleepy right there, but I was not expecting the playmaker. Deion Jones comes in free off that disengage. Perfect adjustments, perfect play call. And GG's in the chat to my guy, Kiv. Boys, if you did enjoy this gameplay, leave a like, comment what you guys want to see next. I got a bunch of videos for you on the way. And also, man, let me know who you're rooting for in the NBA playoffs. I know they just started up. See in the back right there, man, I'm a huge Warriors fan. I'm in a lot of pain, man. Show me some love. Uh, it's not that deep, man. Uh, but it's still pretty crazy. I wish Curry would have made it, but that's for another video, another time, another rant. Till next time, boys, stay up, stay easy, stay easy, excuse me, and I'll catch you guys next time.